Oh, what time is it? Oh, not you again. All right, fine. I'll tell you what happened last time. Uh, uh, the mayor led us to this creepy shack, and Gillian went inside, and he struck up some kind of deal. I guess the town is safe now, but I have a feeling that deal's probably going to come back to bite him in his ass. Um, we saved the town, and everything was great. I think that's it. Yeah, all right. I'm going back to bed. Oh, yeah, and uh, just roll with it. Just roll with it, listeners. My name is Grizzly, and I'm the DM. My name is Bizly, and I play Chip. And I have a going to war. <laughs> my name is Condi, and I play Jay. And my name is Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tide Strider. You would, wouldn't you? I do. I'm very upset with you, Bisley. <laughs> why? Why? Because I did the go XLR. Literally I'm sorry. Fucking the audio forms. Okay, but you and Charlie both hey, just went crazy when you got it. <laughs> Good luck with this one! Where we last left off, the three of you, after blowing up the big chipper, arrived on an island named Laughing Lot and discovered its only town, Mornstead. You found that it was plagued with uncontrollable laughter, a disease that kept the citizens shackled by one emotion and one emotion only, that eventually led to some indefinite madness. You met the mayor of this town, who gave some of his insight and a solution, and you also met Julian Booker, who opposed and blamed the mayor for this island's problem. You all followed the mayor deep into the forest to confront a mysterious man and a confrontation you had. Gillian. You met Niklaus Hendricks, a towering tiefling that offered you two options, and you ended up with a deal that saved everyone at the cost of a debt to Niklaus. In turn, the mayor's daughter was returned, and she explained much more of the story that you had previously known. Julene was reunited with Abigail, the mayor's daughter, and the mayor groveled before you all. After conversation about her promised reward of gold and having a ship built, Plus, Jay's condem condemnation. Con condom? Condemnation. There we go. Got it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm learning things. He's learning. He's learning every day. Condemnation. That's so fucking funny. That's the next island. Condom station. <laughs> condemnation of the mayor. You all head back to check that the town was indeed saved and found that the emotions of the people were restored and the curse of Lof and Lod lifted. Thanks to some encouragement and Chip's failed attempt at getting the town's folks money, Julian gave a speech to update the people of Mornstead, to sing your praises as this island's heroes, and to kickstart a banquet in celebration of their new freedom. And that is where we pick back up, baby! Ooh! <sighs> oh, let's go! Wild night. Crazy oh. night. You awaken the next morning. <gasps> The streets are a cluster of well-rested townsfolk. Yawn. Everyone is spread out in different positions, different means of sleeping, and for once, different expressions on their faces. <laughs> I'm face down <laughs> in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, after your large dance number and Jay's keg stand, the rest hey, of the uh, night was one fast, festive blur. And uh, speaking of Jay, you awaken hey. to find yourself resting on the head uh, sorry, resting your head on the chest of a familiar person. Oops. Gillian, here on the main road's floor. And Gillian, you have been awake for quite a while now. Probably frozen like a statue. <laughs> and you're unsure what to do about this predicament. That's where you two wake up. <clears throat> oh, good morning, Gil. I, I kind of like get up off of <laughs> Is it morning? I can't tell. I've blinded myself staring directly into the sun <laughs> for four Why? hours. Why didn't you close your eyes? <laughs> Wait, you've been awake for four hours? You could have just like... I wasn't sure what was appropriate, so the second I opened my eyes, I never did anything again for four <laughs> hours. You could have just like where tossed is, me off to the Chip? side or like... I don't, I don't know. Where is Chip? I look around. Is Chip in sight? As you guys I check get if he's up. also laying on my body. Well, actually, both of you, both of you make a perception check. Okay. 
Perceive me, mortals. I've got a 20, uh, 21. Hey, I got a 17 plus 1, 18. Okay. All right, so as the two of you guys get up, uh, you notice now that some of the other people uh, have begun to move around, start to clean up, reorganize things. Uh, the temperature this morning is as comfortable as a peaceful town should feel. But both of you immediately realize that there is something missing, and it is Chip. You look around, <laughs> and oh, Chip no. is nowhere to be found in the immediate vicinity. Oh, God. Okay. This is why we don't um, let him drink. This is... The, remember last time? He was drowned. It's important to stay hydrated. Where do you think he has gone? Um... Um, I look around. I see do you this. remember what happened last night? No, I don't. I don't remember anything. Make... I drink a lot. <laughs> hey, hey, Jay. Mm -hmm. Make a... Can history? Yeah, make a history check. This is <laughs> My like head hurts. tomorrow, I yesterday's gotten, history. I must have gotten too hydrated. A ten. I got a ten. <laughs> you rub your temples and try to remember, and you get a flash uh, of two figures, blurred. Uh, but you recognize the white shirt and the black overalls entering uh, entering um, Old Man Earl's tavern, the Orange Tavern. <sighs> getting getting anything? What? They were. He was. Why was he dressed like that? I or the orange. The orange. The orange. What a dumb the name. Or it, why would they call it that? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I've only been on the surface for this long, and I still know that it's not the correct spelling. Listen, I, I think they're. I think he's in. The orange. The in. The in. I'm. Wait, I'm calling orange, it the orange. The or or. Or in I grab Jay by the shoulder. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a pun, Gil. Gil, it's a Jay. pun. Jay, what is this sorcery? How can it's, it be both? It's a pun. How can Gil, it be or down. in it's... orange the orange the fruit? I, I don't have time to explain wordplay to you. <laughs> I, I don't my like my fucking pupils are just shaking. I, I run into the uh, I run into the I run into the tavern. Run Dude, into are the you tavern. still we holding gotta... me? Are you carrying me by the shoulder? <laughs> yeah, I'm just carrying you. <laughs> yeah, easy enough. You uh, it's just yeah, down you the don't street. Don't get it. It's, <laughs> it's very close to where you guys fell asleep. Um, easy. So it's very easy. You run uh to the door and you burst through. You're in. You're in now. The orange tavern. Uh, there's there's a few people here uh, who are who are eating like breakfast and whatnot. <laughs> Any bald ones? Uh, and uh, no, no bald ones. They grew hair. Good for them. Shit. I put my hand no down. No bald ones because because most of the most of the bald people that weren't knocked unconscious or gone mad uh, a few nights ago from you guys or actually literally last night mm -hmm. have uh, or were playing instruments during your dance number and they're all passed out outside in the alleyway. That's what you would have seen. <laughs> okay, I slapped them on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Three, and so I just reach down. Yep. Nice. Yeah. You're on the first floor uh, of, of uh, Old Man Earl's tavern. He's just behind the counter, or behind the bar as normal. Earl, it is good to see you. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel now that the curse is lifted? Well, I still feel old. Yeah, we can't fix that. And I'm still afraid. pissed off. <laughs> But I'm glad that everybody here, patrons of the, of the Orange Tavern, are having happy meals for once. You know, I hope you guys... Despite uh, still being orange-based. <laughs> I feel like there was something in there to laugh at, but now I am really unsure where it's appropriate. Ever. Well, if Have you had you... another joke... <laughs> <laughs> um, Jay, Jay we can is, have a Jay good hearty been... laugh! Jay has been working on her on her C C comedy. Do you have a joke, Jay? Um oh C comedy. Um Do the one do the one you told to me last night. It was really good. I told you oh, a joke last, last night. <laughs> last oh, night was no. surely something funny to witness. <laughs> um uh, <laughs> uh, God, fuck uh, uh, so there was uh You got this. We so what do you? This. I get behind you. I start like rubbing your shoulders like a fucking like. Make it a, a good one and you get couch. free breakfast. Oh god, Here I can't go. afford breakfast. Jay, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for <laughs> comedy and food. Um, oh god. Okay. Uh, what? 
What, what do you what do you call a um a group of fishes? Okay. What? <laughs> a group a of fishes? School of fish? <laughs> yeah, school. I don't know. It's just a fact. This, that is a fact. That's all I know. You see, you see, you see. Uh, uh wait, 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 wait. Roll a roll a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> not even waiting him to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Please laugh. I got a twenty. Not natural. Oh two. my god! You see, uh, you see his 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 left eye squint and the right eyebrow raise up as he looks at you, tell this joke, and then he just he nods. <laughs> <laughs> the joke was so bad it has returned the curse to Luff and Lot. <laughs> oh my god! What am I laughing at him? <laughs> What have, what have I done? It's, okay. it's alright, it's alright. She got the fun fish jokes mixed with the fun fish facts. Have you seen Chip yep. anywhere this morning? He's upstairs. <laughs> Bring him down here and I'll, oh. I'll get you some breakfast on the house for everything you've done. I don't know if you want to bring his friend, though. His, his friend? What? Wait. <laughs> I look over his chair. Uh, I did see somebody... Good, good. With it's good for him that he's now finally making friends in the town. It's true. I didn't really. He's, he's kind of a bastard. Yeah. <laughs> didn't we Why? <laughs> Fuck off! Last night they were in call with me saying Chip is a bastard over and over again for an hour and a half. <laughs> Surprised he can make That's friends. not true. It That's is not true. What do you mean? Uh, anyway, I slap a bald man, kill a firebug, and walk up the stairs. No, Chip would never do anything bad. Um, the first two I things don't happen, stairs. but you do go up the stairs. Jay, are you going yeah. with him? I just really want to drive in the point that Chip is a bastard. He's not I walk a up bastard. The stairs. I do Jay, go a with friend him. of a friend of Chip is yep. a friend of mine. Of course, guys, yeah. I mean, you know. And I open the door. You guys, yeah. Well, you don't know which door to open, so uh, are you just gonna go for a random one? Well, didn't we get rooms the first night? I would have seen you where did. They went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I opened the room. Rooms. He okay. I opened the room he was in last time. Sure. All right. So you guys go up the steps, creeping over. Uh, it's pretty dimly lit up here as the candles aren't lit anymore. Oh, they, is, they were this is ominous. blown out. That is, is the morning time. Uh, I, and I you did, walk I through the hallway. Evil. Okay, you <laughs> sense no evil, but you do sense some sin. As you open the door, where Chip lay, you see Chip. a figure what happened? underneath these woolen covers. Jay. Chip Kill. slouched half of his body off the bed, his hair hanging as his head is almost upside down, oh and he's in a God. full suit. Is there something? Wait, so who's in here with him? It's <laughs> is just there him. anybody in here? You look over and next to him, you hear a. <laughs> and see this very oh, no. much larger uh, oh, no. Oh, no. circular. Shape underneath the same covers. <laughs> I'm really scared to lift these covers up. Gil. Okay, here's what I want to do. Jay, whatever you do, I don't know what evils lurk under these sheets, but I fear that if we see <laughs> it, we there may be no going back. How do we get? How do we get Chip out of this? I want to try and ex extract Chip without seeing what's under the covers. I would like to help. Make a sleight of hand check I'm with assisting. advantage. <laughs> I, only have a, I only have a negative two. Okay, before I do this, cast minor prophecy on myself. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. The first roll. This first roll is a six. The What'd second you? roll is a four. I got a six <laughs> minus two. It's a four. It's a four. Hang on. Oh, hang no. on. Don't worry. Don't worry. I get to add a d4, guys. It's not just a four. It's a seven. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Jay. Yeah, what's up? What do you, I you fear that if we see what is under there, there is no going back. I pull off the entire sheet accidentally because no! I got no. distracted. <laughs> as you are, as Oops. you are raising, <laughs> reaching your hands to try and grab Chip to remove him swiftly and, and, and quietly from these, these covers, this bed. Like an you eel feel from a reef. You feel a very meaty, strong grasp of pale skin grab your wrist, and the both of you look up, and you see... Well, first you hear... Get your hands off my husband! <laughs> off your what? Your, Wait. Your what? 
you guys see this heavy set half orc woman with pale skin long braided blonde hair and rosy red cheeks gilly and you immediately recognize this to be one of the one of the orange sellers the ones who sold clementines <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, is that, oh. you didn't buy the clementines. You bought the mandarins, right? He brought or, the tangerines. Tangerines, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh man, are you I, trying to steal him away? I would... I believe that last night may have been very confusing for many of us. Chip, I you open your eyes to see. More confusing for more of me. <laughs> you open your eyes and you just and, and you just see a Gillian holding you upwards, your body still half on the bed, and then a large arm grasping his hands uh, as they are sort of in this stalemate with you in the middle. Surely you do not mean to tell me that you are legally bound to chip <laughs> through the vows of marriage. Bound? Gillian, I'm not in. I never ah! took you for the gun. <laughs> I, jump, I jump up out of bed and hide behind Gillian. Chip, Chip I never took and you I just, for the I, gun. Like, my head just like cranks back to him. That's no way to react to your wife. <laughs> my, my what? She lets go at this point, sits up, and uh, she's just in this white blouse. Uh, and her, her face just has this very small mouth. This curls up into this small smile, this tiny smile. Chip, I never took you for the kind of guy to settle down. Are these I mean... your friends, darling? <laughs> Chip, I'm so proud of you. I'm just Man, like, I'm you shaking, I shivering. Been at the wedding. I was behind Gil, just like nodding, like up and I down. I was worried you would never, never settle down and lay eggs of your own. I wanna, I wanna grab Gillian by the, by the cheeks, and I wanna pull him real close. I wanna get my, Oof. get her right up to his ear. Get me out of here. So this <laughs> thing we're done pirating. Are you settling down, like? Chip. Are you having? Are you having marital issues? I don't know if I'm qualified. I know a great relationship, Barracuda. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get sick, guys. I gotta go to the the, the bathroom and. Oh, here. I ca I use lay on hands on him and cure his disease. <laughs> oh, I can help you. <laughs> no, 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 that's don't fine. Worry, that's fine. Don't worry, Jim. Now you're completely fine. You're, you're, you're completely like, fine, and now you can spend more time married, with your man. wife. You're recently married, man. Come on, you want to enjoy I'm gonna stumble over to the wife. door and like. I I think it'd be funny if I fell asleep with like my pants around my ankles and I fall down and like get up and like pull them up. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh no, God, it's awful. No, oh, you got. Uh, I'll just be back. That um, is I'm not just... the power of the moon I wish to harness. <laughs> you stay here. I slam the door shut. I want to run to like some bathroom. Just got, we just got full chip ass. <laughs> <laughs> you you guys are are left in here with um. With this, this this woman that Gillian you recognize, and she hey. she looks at you, Gillian, and she says, "I certainly hope he's okay." I'm sure you he'll know, be fine. You know, after that conversation we had, and you told me to find a new passion. Well, I I believe I found my new passion in the That's arms beautiful. of that young handsome man. That's so beautiful. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> That's so beautiful. To court one as free such as him. I will never have to collect or sell clementines again as long as he's by my side. <laughs> it's like a tear. He is your little citrus now. Oh god. <laughs> she bounces up, uh, He doesn't using, deserve you, you know. Using her own body weight's <laughs> momentum off the bed, it springs downwards and she lands with a heavy poof, poof, thud on the ground as the, the floor kind of shakes a little bit. <sighs> I better go check on him. Yeah, hey, let me know. I I'm open licensed, the door for by the way. Her. I'm licensed in in therapy. That's a lie, but I mean, I want to I want to be there for that. <laughs> pretzel Pretzel has a master's. <laughs> yeah, pretzel <laughs> at, my, at my frog the puss. <laughs> oh, he has such wonderful supportive friends. <laughs> of course, yeah. We just want we want the best for Chip, you know. And you seem so wonderful. And so, you seem so like wonderful. the best for Chip. Yeah, I will never him. let him leave. Thank you. Ever. That, that is that is <laughs> so great to hear. <laughs> Oh. Push her out the door towards her love. Yeah. This is beautiful. This is, is there a beautiful window? session. I got <laughs> a window in this room. There's the same window that you guys exited out to get to the alleyway I'm, before. I went out then. it. I went out <laughs> um, it. I, went out I close the door behind her when she leaves the room and I just... <laughs> you guys, you guys push... Okay, Gillian... You know what? I Never her, mind. I push her out the door towards Chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she collects her, her, her blue denim pants and puts on the, uh, the, the red... 
<laughs> that, that that checkered red uh, uh, tied shirt, and then she just she hops out merrily from the door without you even needing to push her too much. <laughs> uh, she gets out there, and you slam the door. You have no idea where she goes. You guys are left in this room, Chip. You're out the window. They will raise beautiful guppies. I don't don't know if that's how that works. They will lay hundreds of eggs, and few will survive. And the ones that do will be beautiful. I sure hope so. (laughs) You guys hear a very distant... Come here, darling! And then a chip screaming. It's like it's already begun. It's the start of the rest of his life. <laughs> I want to I wanna try and lose her and then go into uh, Errol's tavern and like hide down beneath the, the thing, like next to him. <laughs> More like laying a lot. Ayo! <laughs> <laughs> you mean uh, you're going to just basically hop out the, the second floor, run around back yeah. into the entrance, and then hide underneath the bar with old man Errol? Mm-hmm. Okay. Her! What are you doing? Shh. She's going to find me. You're gonna have to pay me to keep you hidden from a wife. <laughs> Hold up a coin. Deal. <laughs> she comes running in the door. Have you seen him? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and she runs out the door and keeps looking around. She's basically skipping right now, and every skip is a thud in the ground. God, she's so oh. joyful. I'm so happy for so her, man. Stand up. Ooh. They deserve each other. Hey, thanks. Thanks, man. <laughs> they do. They do. Oh. Uh, I remember when I used to run for my wife. <laughs> Some days oh, I wish I would have let her catch me before she was gone. <laughs> I make sure to neatly oh, organize the legally sad. binding marriage documents inside their room uh, and <laughs> into a nice folder. <laughs> okay, you do that. Pretzel's so, got a suit on now. <laughs> what about the whole wife thing? Uh, how? How? Did, how? Why? How did this- Why are you asking me? You just came in here and we're already oh, wedded! Was... Hitched! You looked happy! <laughs> uh, uh. It was disgusting! Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think I agree with you. Um... Go so get him, Tiger! Back, uh, if she comes back... I, uh... Where did I go? Where did I go? I am with the mayor doing mayor things. Cool. Hold up another the old board. mayor or the new mayor? Persuasion check. Rolling. Slowly. Ten. <laughs> he takes the coin out of your hand, gives you a wink, and says, I'll make sure to not tell her where you went. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least convincing thing ever. Oh, good luck, buddy. Uh, thanks, and, and I want to... Um, go back up the stairs and try and find the other. Yeah, you run up back into your room and, and they're Jeez. still standing there. You just see Gillian organizing some papers. I want to just open up the door and slam behind me and just like, sit back. I stare at We you gotta leave! <laughs> <laughs> marriage <laughs> marriage is a marriage is a powerful curse Jake, not even I can break. That's not funny! <laughs> it's hilarious. What are it's you not! Doing? Oh I'm my very God, happy you're tied you, down. Chip. You can't. How did you let this happen? How Yo, I was talking happen? to a guy last night. You, you... Oh my God. Oh, you're gonna have a hard time getting hey, out of this. From what you? I know, which isn't much, I think she's absolutely perfect for oh, you. Oh, she's so it's wonderful. You deserve each other. Horrifying. You deserve each other. Horrifying. You're so good for each other. <sighs> um. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, how long is hey, it listen, for the, to the ship to get made, right? Like, oh, two it's days? been one day. Two days? Um, weeks. Oh god. And they said what? Four weeks? Yeah. Um. Don't worry, ship. We'll still be here for a couple more weeks before we say goodbye to you <laughs> and your beautiful enjoy your wife. Time. No, 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 no. I'm getting out of here. We're getting out of here. I'm getting my boat. And I'm never seeing her again. No, that's just rude. Why would you? her to marry me? I don't even know who that is. Clearly you, you are did. Now I mean, for life. You had to was, be of a sound mind and body. I was probably saying, will you carry me? Mm, that doesn't <laughs> sound like something you'd say. <laughs> <laughs> well, neither does will you marry me. Okay, I want to do an ins- <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck. Can I try and recall what happened with this marriage? I really want to know. Okay, yeah, history check, same as Jay. Okay, okay, I have a minus one to history, but it's worth a shot. Okay, 17 minus one, 16, not bad. 
All right, yeah. You uh, all you remember uh, during this because uh, you weren't as drunk as the other two usually. Was, can I, can I have been the best man? <laughs> oh my god! All you were, all you remember this is, is becoming uh, the fucking hangover, wait, you, dude. wait, 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 wait. Do you have? <laughs> wait, <laughs> would fucking Gillian have like the power to officiate a wedding? Technically, probably, probably. <laughs> as a paladin, or as a hero, like. Can Jelena have officiated it? I think that'd be so fucking good. Look, okay, yeah. I'm gonna say- There's like say... some weird like fish ritual too. Like it was not normal. <laughs> Jay could be the bridesmaid. <laughs> it wasn't even done inside of a church. It was done inside of a fucking a river and uh, in the West Wood. Uh, all you remember is Chip coming to you with one arm slurring and, and falling over barely one arm around this 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 woman. Uh, that you recognize there's the same person last night as well but in this uh in this environment this this atmosphere of joy uh he looked very sincere and happy about <laughs> wanting to get married and and settle down and have a family and he said it was going to be the greatest thing ever and that uh and you you offered to basically was it ordain what was the word yeah. condi officiate officiate, officiate yeah. it uh by the ways of your people from the undersea uh, <laughs> all of you went, and uh, that happened. And then Jay, all you remember after that uh, is the same thing you saw. They 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 disappeared the, into Old Man yeah. Earl's tavern for their honeymoon. I officiated nice. it myself, Chip, under the light of the moon. There's nothing more official and beautiful than this marriage. Oh God, I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, how do you get out of one of these, uh, marriages where you're from? Uh, polygamy is punishable by death. <laughs> oh! That's great! That's great, Gil. Um, mated and... Paris, mated for life. You must guard, you must guard the eggs until they hatch. Tradition is so eggs. beautiful. I'm not ready for eggs. And then you will watch the nest. And then you breakfast. will, and then you will die, and the bottom feeders will eat your bones, and bones. bring life back into the cycle as it begins anew. I start to like hyperventilate. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Constitution saving throw. Okay. <laughs> um, twenty-two. All right. Yeah, you uh, you hyperventilate, but you don't pass out. It's life. <laughs> you guys all hear a uh, on the door outside. Oh god. Uh, of the room you guys are in. <laughs> well, I, ship, I, there's much on the ship to be worked on. Shay and I should probably go. Just take me with you. I get a right next to his face. Take me. Uh, <laughs> what's all the commotion? <laughs> oh, open Julian. Up. Hey. Oh, Julian. Julian. My friend, come on in. I go in there. The, I open up the, the door and I carry him in. I, sh I peek Holy out. Holy shit. I shit. look out and I shut the door and I lock it. <laughs> Chips what's fresh your married, man. man. You what's your problem? What's your problem? Good morning. Did you see oh, you got married. Woman? You mean Amanda? Julian, Amanda? spread the good word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she seemed very gleeful today. <laughs> Not selling. Uh, I imagine she usually name does, something but... more like oof or thud. <laughs> no. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> nah, player, that's Amanda Wren. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Are you fucking joking me? Are you fucking kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? Uh, no anymore. Well, What's your last name, started Chip? This place. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't have fun. Oh, that's <laughs> weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I was being married. Hey, Julian, do you have that comb? Did by any chance I want to like reach out and grab his comb? Oh yeah, he uh, he's wearing a leather jacket right now. And he just opens up one of the the vests here, and you just see that they're just hanging on the in the inside of the jacket. He pulls one out and gives it to you. Yeah, no, just like, like rows of it hanging all the way. <laughs> I'm like, oh, listen, listen, oh, Chip, good. Chip, Chip, it's Chip. It's good for your scalp. Probably, <clears throat> Chip. Uh -huh. Listen, if you want to change, if you want to get out of a marriage, you gotta change your identity, you know. And you know, first step for that, I reach into Chip's pocket and I pull out the electric razor. <laughs> oh shit! Pretzel, are you, no, 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 Pretzel, no, 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 Do you no, no, know no. The, how the laws for this work? Listen, they don't have boats. Can you... If we just get our boat, we can leave. <laughs> I guess technically, if. If Chip were to die and someone of a new name were to take his place, Pretzel, would that check out? 
you refer down to Pretzel and you just see the, the small pink frogtopus do a circle, uh, spin or swim in a circle and then do like a front flip twice to insinuate mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed, that would work. Well. Okay, so let's let's stage a death. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait. Oh, oh my god. Are you gonna just die? What yes. the fuck okay. is happening here? Are we gonna get this shit built or not? Uh, yes. Yeah, we... Ship built. We leave. Amanda stays here. All right. Has something happened? <laughs> yeah, you know, Wait, you got married? <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> Are you oh, proud shit. of him as well? It's so wonderful. I want to look on my finger. Is there a ring? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's like a coral ring. Yeah, I made it for you. Yes, oh. it's of my own design. Do you like it? It's I beautiful. Pull it off. <sighs> Can you hold on to it for me? <laughs> oh, this is also punishable by death. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm still right. All right, fine. <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, well, listen, I don't know how long the average human life expectancy is, but Me neither. if Chip, I think you got cut down by maybe a few weeks if you stay here with, uh, anyway, so Abigail sent me <laughs> to get this, uh, <laughs> ship, you know, get you, get, get you down over there on Cathedral Street over and get the ship design started so we can get, yeah, you know, to work. Let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's go. Um, let's can do you guys it, go Julia. first and then signal me? If she's not there, and I thought I was the coward. <laughs> Listen, I think I think hey, you'll know if hey, she's there. That's not funny. <laughs> she <should come. laughs> Do not she's approve so of this. <laughs> Listen, we'll talk about how to fake your death later. Okay, let's just get the ship started. All right. Yeah, we. I head out. I head out with Julian. Yep. She's gonna All right. my balls. <laughs> so you guys follow um, uh, Julian down to, uh, or basically. Um, the orange tavern is in the the market stall area mm -hmm. uh, the buildings of the minis like i said you walk all the way bit back to where you came from um and as you're walking just like the alleyway between the tavern and uh the building next to it there are these like smaller narrow pathways between the shouldered buildings most of them have wooden posts that read the names of uh like durst street riot street and eventually he leads you guys to cathedral street where you guys see there is a, a wooden, a small wooden church next to that. It seems to be a, a, a longer, like a longer home area. And he says, all right, so this is, uh, this is where I'm holed up. Uh, down here, he points down the, 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 the pathway or the, the smaller alleyway between the church and the home. Uh, down there is going to be uh, where we, uh, where we used to be. But here, right, this is kind of the, the work area for... Well, we're going to be building the ship down here behind these two buildings and, sh and stuff. This is my homeland, my part of the town. <laughs> so Abigail's yeah. just waiting for you inside. You just go in there, uh, start telling her what you want, how how big, what's going to be on it, and, <laughs> and we'll tell you how long it takes. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another fantastic mid -roll! Yeah, that's right. I got Echo now, baby. Woo! Uh, I just wanted to real quick say, make sure to go and check out our cool social medias that I'm going to list off to you right now. Make sure you go check out our Patreon. Oh, we've been popping over on Patreon, baby. We got $5,000, halfway to that $10,000 goal. And you know what that means? Just roll with it, studio! I'm going to keep doing that through the whole fucking mid-roll. Uh, yeah, so definitely go over there and check out the Patreon. We got all types of cool stuff going on over there, including the Prime Defenders campaign that I myself run. Yeah, that's right. I'm a DM, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you go check that out and uh, listen to that campaign because it is completely separate from the one you're listening to right now. And if that's not enough for you, we've got an episode of Just Roll What If coming out here soon. You're gonna wanna go check that out. It's a fun one, it's a doozy, it's a good one. Just Roll What If is a show where we explore different options the story could have gone, different routes, different ways that the story could have taken. So make sure you go check that out. Also, if you're not already, go on over to our Twitter, check that out, go ahead and hit us, hit a follow over there. Listen, if you wanna talk about the show, you wanna share it by word of mouth, which is the only way that our show gets shared, by the way. Did you know that? Did you know that that's the only way our shit, our show gets shared? So go share the show, go show, share, share the show. Go share the show with everyone you know. 
uh, by tweeting about it over on Twitter with hashtag JRWI show. And if that's not enough, head over to Reddit. Go over to Reddit and do some cool stuff over there. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. We're on Reddit too, baby. Oh yeah, I'm a robot. Yeah, that's fucking right. I'm a robot, motherfucker. What you gonna do? Not shit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. This thing is driving me mad, but it's so fun. Anyway, uh, what else you got to go check out? Yeah, go over to our subreddit, r slash JRWI show. Post your fan art. Post all your stuff over there. Let us see the fan art. We want to see it. Share it with us. Let me see that. And yeah, I think that's going to be it from me for this mid-roll. Uh, hope you enjoy the rest, the rest of, the, of show. the show. You guys go, you guys go in there. You start talking with Abigail on what on the schematics of the ship and what you want the design to be like and what you um, what you want to have on it. I so. install the funny GTA Five horn. Okay, okay, okay. We can, uh, if you want to describe all that now or at the end when actually it's it's completed, it's up to you. But basically, they tell you that this uh, construction is going to take two weeks, about two weeks, give or take. Okay. And. Uh, 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 in the meantime, while he is constructing the ship, Abigail will, will work with uh, the previous mayor, her father, mm -hmm. on getting together the, the gold that the town has, town hall has uh, stored, and like basically accounting, accountant style, <clears throat> figuring out how much they are able to give you without, you know, running the town into poverty. Oh, shit. Holy okay. fuck. Hey, when, hey um... Abigail. Oh, I want to do... Abigail, two weeks just isn't enough, you know? Like, I'm thinking I look towards ship quickly. I'm thinking more like two months, maybe, you know? Like, no, no, no. <laughs> well, we said, I mean, we. A small sailboat right now. <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I'm sure if you ask Julian, that wouldn't take that that long to, like, no, to we make. Won't. What's Abigail, the rush? Abigail, you may not understand the logistics here, but ship needs to die and fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that sounds awful. <laughs> um. I don't want anything to do with that. It is the only way. <laughs> Technically. Okay. Well, okay, I okay, guess okay. if an accident were to happen. A terrible an accident. ship. A, a terrible shipbuilding ship accident. I don't know if we're gonna have another chance to get a better ship. Listen, uh, I could yeah. probably stick it out for for a couple weeks. If you can. It make, will just be a couple. If weeks. you can make this, and I and, and I pull out a big sheet of paper, and I want to <laughs> lay it out, and it's just a <laughs> large ship with like. With, it's like I unfold it. It's like a small piece, and I unfold it to be this massive paper. And there's several of them that I hold on top of each other. And it's just like a huge schematic of a of a large like 200 sailor bearing ship with like with like 15 sails all around it. A fucking figurehead at the front of like my head with waves behind me. And it's like there's like incredible detail. And at the top, it just has in a cool font, Millennium Chipper. <laughs> you see Abigail's you eyes her her eyes glimmer they they light up they're glowing and she looks she goes this is in, this is incredible chip you should you should think about doing architecture think about making no we, we we absolutely can't do this um but maybe if we cut it into fourths and do like one section of it, it which is the unfortunately maybe you should show this to somebody more capable what do you think of this uh, pretzel? And I put the little pret like octopus <laughs> globe on the thing, and it just like tips over, and pretzel just falls out, starts crawling around on it. <laughs> pretzel kinda... crawls up to the the figurehead part of it. <laughs> pretzel gives a, a a nice good look into it, and then her head kind of swivels back and looks at Chip with these really squinted, like disappointed <laughs> disappointed eyes. This is it's a glare from this tiny, cute pink octopus. Yeah, you feel hurt by that. What's she, yeah. What's she looking at me like that for? She has spoken. <laughs> come, come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bad. I think she's inked on your design. No, 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 no! Get it all. And I start to like smudge yeah. it. And it's <laughs> no. Oh. All right. I've had that for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> so. You guys uh, have figured out, you've basically given Abigail uh, what you want, and Julian and his, uh, uh, you hear him from outside once this is all figured out. This takes about a few hours in the day, uh, just discussing things and whatnot. You just hear a large, a loud whistle that echoes, a, whoosh, I can't do it, but he goes, all right, gnomes and lol, line up. We got a job to do, and fast. And uh, they just start like basically, you know, there's like five, a row of five gnomes all holding a big 
wooden plank above their head, and they're just it's just movement now, creating the ship for you guys during the week. So hmm. now, oh, cool. Now, uh, uh, this is the expedited part of the session that I think I touched on last last session, where uh, we're basically just gonna go through character by character what you guys want to accomplish, what you want to do during this uh, these two weeks. And uh, if you want to play out a certain part, we can do that. Or if not, you can just describe what you do, and and, and we can go with that. It's totally up to you guys. Uh, and uh, we'll start with uh, <laughs> the uh, the man in distress, <laughs> Chip himself. <laughs> okay. So for the next two weeks, while this ship, I want to know how you made, fake your death. That's all. Um, I, I've got an idea, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it on me. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Hey, we can we can role we... play out planning like yeah, the, uh, the death. <laughs> Hey, remember when we messaged each other and said we should go hunting? What if we had a hunting accident? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I would probably I, I, be I, like I mistook you for a bug. <laughs> staying with this um, with this woman for the uh for the two weeks at at her house, and like just I guess be playing the part, and and every night when she wants us to <laughs> sleep together, I just Fucking sneak away. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I gotta uh, go, and I just like string together elaborate lies about why we cannot lay in our marital bed together. <laughs> okay, here's my here's my here's my idea, and it's something out of like fucking now you see me. It's <laughs> we're like building the ship, and we're like lifting up like this big like piece of the ship, and we build a secret hidden compartment on it, and we drop it on ship, so it looks like he's crushed by it, but he's <laughs> actually in the secret compartment, and then we oh, lift it yeah. up. Oh yeah, okay, God, magic trick it. So I want to I want to bring her like we plan this out. I want to bring her to the construction site so she can see it. Like yeah yeah you know you should just uh, you should come see the the ship that we're building that for them to go off. I'm just helping them out, you know. Oh my god, this is fucked up, dude. <laughs> Sorry. We're, so, really uh, we're role playing this shit. This is insane, dude. Gillian would not be a fucking part of role playing this. I'm just gonna tell you right now. This is yeah. This I was gonna say whoever is setting. Gave, I gave this woman life, and you're about to give her death. <laughs> um, but I would say, I would say, because I don't want to, like, actually do her wrong, though, is the thing. If um, you fake your death, you will absolutely do her yeah, wrong. Yeah, no, I would say, I would say I, I try to fake my death, but maybe she just, like, with her strong, burly arms comes to save me and Yeah, yeah, me yeah, so you drop this on up. her, and she, in, like, this fucking, uh, animal, like, beast, beastly rage says, I'll save you! And then like goes under and just lifts this large stone cement up that actually is much Ow. lighter since it was fake and she just <laughs> it just flips over a million times in the air before landing a mile behind you. She's fucking yeah. cracked, and you just look at her. She and she she grabs you and, and bear hugs the shit out of you. I, I look at I'm I'm assuming I'm there. I dropped the thing on him. I just look and I'm like. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah. After that, Gillian just waves the papers at you. <laughs> um. I think I would just just continue to try like attempt things, but they just don't work throughout the, <laughs> throughout the two weeks. Like like I just keep getting into these life threatening situations, and she just keeps stopping them, or something keeps happening to where I am still alive throughout for, the two weeks. Yeah, for for um, this part, uh, I just want you to roll run one dis big deception check. Okay. And uh, and since I'm I assuming, I wouldn't want it to work though. Like I'd want them to be like. Uh, no, this is also I, I, for so the string knows. of lies. The and, more and you're stuff. describing okay. this, the more this actually sounds like a budding romance. <laughs> I hope you know. <laughs> that's a that's a ten. A ten, sure. Um, and then All by right. the end, I would I would explain myself to her uh, and probably just oh. come clean. Oh. Oh. oh, Mandarin, no, no. All right, let's uh, let's let's let you guys I don't play, play it out. With Jay too. Yeah, both okay. for 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 when you go and you finally uh, towards the end of, of the two weeks here, you will finally come clean. Uh, this is after all the stuff that you guys do together. Mm -hmm. You will um, mm -hmm. you will come clean and tell her your true feelings and that it was just a night, <laughs> a, a one night stand essentially that you did not ever <laughs> intend to do. And Ooh. um, at first yeah. at first you can see that Amanda's in denial. Because for the for, for, for once she has uh this this spark of a passion for for something other than you know selling uh, clementines which she she never wanted to do. <laughs> and you wonder and, why we call him a bastard. <laughs> He's such a fucking bastard. And then after uh, a few more, uh, you know, you you try a few more white lies to sugarcoat it, but then eventually you just fully tell the truth for once. And during this time when you're you're running from Amanda and and you're That's living cute. with Amanda, you. 
you there are things that are that are admirable and yeah. and, yeah, and, and and nice about this person uh who actually um seems to have like also just kind of uh came to this island once you know a few years ago and just you know wasn't able to leave or anything like that she doesn't fit in with everybody else uh and she's definitely not like born here is what you learn but mm -hmm. you, you, there's things that you know seem nice about her and she seems to have a bright future if she can find that that uh that passion for something that's for her and not for someone else and and you let her know this kinds of stuff and she seems a little crushed but she doesn't seem defeated and that is uh that's where that relationship ends at the end of this uh two weeks and, and for hunting with jay too. and and gillian uh if there's if you guys wanted to play that out yeah all um, up to you so wait do we all want to go hunting because i'm down with that because i wanted to yeah that's fine yeah okay cool i would uh well let's start in in the orange then um i don't know what you wanted to do in the orange with gil um okay well that was a that was a different thing that, okay that will well, require like going to sleep and then waking up the next okay day there because i think it's so and then <laughs> then it's jay's funny. sitting at one of the tables just kind of tapping your fingers this is before everything happened chip and i and i poke up from a barrel like i i pull it off <laughs> <laughs> I'm bored. Entertain me. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I'm like, what is there to do around here? It's, there's nothing here. You can I eat! I've been hiding. <laughs> <laughs> She's not here, oh. you pansy. Oh, it's my buddy! And I hop out and I put my arm around Omero. Hey, man, <laughs> what, what, what do you, yeah. you want to do, friend? Hands off me, squirt! <laughs> this guy. Always, always the jokester he is. What if we, do you know how to shoot a bow? Yeah, sure. Let's go kill some shit. What? <laughs> Hunt. I'm, let's Ooh, go hunting. What's a bow, oh, Gillian yeah. says as he breaks through a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I just replaced that, goddammit! I look, I look over I was, to Gil, very uninterested. The thing on my back. I was defeating many evils of the wood, but they keep managing to keep me at a distance. If only there <laughs> were some way to strike them from afar. I've got news for you, Gil. <laughs> Let's go. We go to the forest. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Amanda will find you out here either. <laughs> you guys, you guys go into uh, the same, the same uh, north woods that you had to travel through in order to meet uh, Nikolaus. You realize that the ground of the forest floor is no longer coated in mist and the animals no longer have that um presence of watching you but not interacting everything seems a lot a lot okay. more natural so oh, Gil, check this out see that see that fire bug up there yes I draw my bow and i'm gonna take wanna, a shot at a fire i want to kick i want to kick her knee like <laughs> <laughs> Does that give a, me a shot advantage? like that? Will will never yeah. work. It will simply drop off. Roll with disadvantage. Oh, uh, that's a fourteen. Like this. Fourteen hits the giant five feet. <laughs> <laughs> it flies straight through it. I get ow, and I can't. I can't <laughs> chip back. You bitch. Do that again, but harder, so that I die. <laughs> okay, one second. I draw my bow. <laughs> no, 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 no! Joke, 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 joke. But a hunting accident might actually work. Okay, where do you want me to shoot you? Don't actually know. <laughs> no, I can make it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not gonna make it look convincing. Here, give me the give me the bow so I can let me try. Okay, yeah. I don't hey, want chip the, the arrow. Chip the arrow is backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said you knew I, how I to knew hunt. That I was just testing you. You're getting good. Mm. Flip it around, and I like hold it along. Like I hold the arrow. I like a lot parallel mm -hmm. to the to the string. Chip, even I know that that is not the correct right, give way. Give it to Gil. Give it to Gil. He's learned more than yes. you have. My, oh, I, my got people, it, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I once tried a design like this, but does not work very well underwater. Oh, I wanna, I wanna now try and shoot, shoot, uh, just into a tree nearby. All right, roll ahead a tree. Um. That is a 22. Damn. Yeah, you fucking hit that tree, bitch. Bullseye. You actually, oh. uh, Woo! you actually don't, you don't, you don't hit through, uh, Jay's previous arrow in the bug, but you do manage to hit the same bug in the same distance. Mm. I want to, oh. I want to just like jump around. The oh, yeah. Has been... Okay. They should call me Sure Shot. 
Yeah, <laughs> what, what did did Drain teach you? And they call me Gillian Tide Strider as I take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, roll, roll a hit <laughs> with your plus your deck. I have negative two decks. Yeah, I know. <gasps> I got an eleven. Oh, okay, you you missed the bug, but you do hit the tree. But when you yeah, grab the bow, it looks like you know exactly what you're doing because you say your name gallantly. You grab it and you quickly pull the string Gillian back Lynch. and let go without even having to aim for a second and it hits the tree but not the bug. Wow, that's a couple cool. of naturals. It, wait, did Dre teach you? No, no. Dre, uh, Dre was more with the with the guns. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I heard that. Yeah, he didn't teach what, me those either. What was spoke it? highly of Dre. What was it like? Yeah, on, on the Black Rose. Are you kidding me? It was amazing. Adventures left and right. It was... Best time of my life. I think. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I've ever felt at home anywhere but on that ship. I guess that makes sense. I mean... I don't know. If, <laughs> if you're gonna be sailing with somebody, you better have a pretty good relationship with them. <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. Mm -hmm. No, J Dre was, uh, he was all right. Mm -hmm. Who else was on the ship? I mean, we've talked a lot about ship? Arlen. Yeah, uh, it was, I can't remember his name. Uh, if you want to roll for it, you can. Yeah, I'll roll for it. Um, yeah. History check. Sure. I'll just say history is now memory for some reason. You need to push yourself, Chip. I know this is a difficult subject. Uh, it's a 15. Yeah, uh, you recall uh, the people that you spent the most time with. So Arlen, you know. You remember Shay, the, the one, the halfling that cooked. Uh, same, same height as Abigail. Uh, you remember the small girl that you, uh, that was also around your age. Elizabeth. Elizabeth, that you... Yeah. That you fought with and, and bickered with a lot, but never uh, never disliked, never hated each other. Just were always at odds. And uh, he would only remember... You would remember the captain. And uh, also, um, probably the dog, but not his name. Would what I remember Finn? Finn's last name? No. I think it'd be funny if he was like, yeah, there's a blue guy. <laughs> you remember someone who, who who had like features similar to Gillian as far mm -hmm. as being the same race? Mm -hmm. uh, but you wouldn't remember his last name and you probably won't even remember. Um, yeah, I wouldn't remember his name, Sven, probably. No. That's fair. You helped, you, you, you helped Arlen a lot with pranks mm -hmm. uh, against him, but <laughs> for some reason, uh, him and the, and the large... The large person that drove the ship, the helmsman, you, you're you're struggling to remember at this point. It's all kind of fuzzy. I mean, it was, it was a long time ago, but yeah, there was um. I mean, Dre was there, Captain was there. Captain was awesome. He was cool. He was like, I think he was he was probably gonna retire soon before you know everything happened. Really? It was. Oh, there was a guy who looked just like you. And, um, <laughs> and we, uh, we, what was it? Oh, yeah. So we took this spicy stuff and we put it in his drink or food or something. And then he ate it and he went, oh, no, it's spicy. And then, and then, and then he made Arlen eat it. And Arlen was like, oh, God, it's so spicy. And everybody screaming. And there was bees and he threw bees at him. And everyone was stung by bees. Very few have gone to the surface. One that looked like me. Yeah. And, and he his name was, um. I don't remember something. Huh. It's crazy and interesting. What do you think happened to the rest of? I mean, you're here, obviously. I mean, we've talked about the whirlpool. <laughs> hey, I don't know. You know, I. That's why we gotta get out there. I, I gotta. I need answers. I need to know more. You know, one minute we're we're sailing and just messing around, and next it's a storm and this whirlpool. It's all a blur, and I, I just remember Arlen going over the side. He, he didn't even get to say a word, you know. It's just 
Mm. He just looked at me and threw me back over because I fell. And one by one, they all went. And I, I just remember waking up. Pretty much alone. I'm. I'm sorry. I, no, no, no! Don't be, don't be sorry. I mean, I mean, they're, they're probably still out there, you know. Yeah, they, yeah, they, no, had to be for something sure. I mean, down there. I, I, I need to find Dre too. So I mean, like, he better still be out there. It's um, possible if they were dragged into the depths, perhaps, perhaps me and and my people could help somehow. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, because there was there was one of you, so so they would want to find him. That mm. makes Good. sense, perhaps, if they were not too far. I was... Uh, I just, when I woke up, the, the water was different. I don't even know if you could swim in that you know, reasonably. Or breathe in that. I don't know how that works. It was, mm. it was dark, like ink. Can oh, you go so down there? Into... <laughs> into some sort of black sea? Yeah, yeah, it was... Yeah. I've never heard of anything like this from any any tome or any mm, merfolk, but I... News would have... But I, it. Gillian Tidestrider, will try. <laughs> sure. Uh, it's whatever, you know. We'll, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. We'll find him. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we gotta get this ship. And I got to get away from Amanda. Okay, yeah. So oh, we we have to get back in ten minutes. You die. <laughs> oh right, right. The the crane thing. Uh, all right, let's go. <laughs> all right, we yeah. killed Chip. <laughs> <laughs> we killed Chip. Right. It fails again. <laughs> uh, you guys have this. Um, talk about uh unexpectedly during a hunting you know outing on, on one of the days during one of the weeks uh and uh you guys head back chip the last thing you want to do is something with uh with gillian yeah so i figure on one of these days we'd probably just be sitting around like doing nothing and, and gillian might just be like what would what would gillian be doing if he was doing if he had absolutely no goal <laughs> if he, had, he always has a goal Okay, but he does. <laughs> would his goal just at some point be to just sit there? If he was beaten. <laughs> Gillian. Gillian, I I wanna yes. out eat you. <laughs> you you wish to outfeast Gillian Tide Strider? That's right. I'm gonna eat this I breakfast have, faster than I you. Have valiant valiantly destroyed five to six evils today there is no way and now i shall destroy five to six eggs or and more depending on how many you eat on your guard jay okay we eat as they're having this eating competition i'm just sitting there like visibly just bored out of my mind i rolled a natural one for my eating competition <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for okay i'll roll just lose. in case i get a one two i got a fucking 20. <laughs> I got you lose. 20. You lose. Humili you are humiliated by how how bad you lose in this fucking competition that you instigated. I gotta I gotta go upstairs for a bit. I can't I can't be here. I go to my room. <laughs> oh, well, um, <laughs> I would join you, you but I'm simply fun? still too hungry. This, repeat that. Don't you guys ever want to do something fun and not just? How are you putting that much food in your body? <laughs> the power of God. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, there's nothing to do here, but like, we gotta go out and do something, you know? Just find something fun to do. Go out and paint the town red, you know? Paint the town red. Yeah! I give Pretzel a whole egg. Just... <laughs> I, yeah. I suppose it would it would it could take a while, but no, it, it, that's the thing. It wouldn't take as long as you think, right? You just go out and do something fun. <sighs> you impose another challenge on me, Chip and I, Gillian Tide Strider, will accept. Okay, 
Uh, let's do it tomorrow. Uh, just get me... When you get up. I'm gonna go sleep. Um, I will prepare. Okay. <laughs> and I would go up and go go ahead and just crash. I would say on, the, on this evening uh, that you guys had this uh, dinner time, a bout of who could feast more, uh, uh, and you complain about n- not ever doing anything like actually fun together. Uh, you tell that you say these words to Gillian, and Gillian smiles as he's been given a new challenge for the next day. <laughs> you two Can go to bed. Wake up in a red room. <laughs> <laughs> you two go to bed, and then the next morning, ship, you awaken, and your room is coated in red, crimson liquid that is not blood. No, Amanda, don't touch. <laughs> what the fuck? You hear a knocking. I get up, get out of the bed, and I just kind of open the door slightly. And the knocking is on the window. Turn around, I'll go over to the window, I open up the curtains. The outside is almost finished. <laughs> Are you just holding? You're just holding. Yeah, I just have a paintbrush. I just have a fucking paintbrush. It's like full with this red paint as well as I'm holding it next to me. Gil, I didn't meet. The finest oh, dice. It. It's already it. begun. I open up the window and I jump out. Give me a brush. Let's go. Uh, the two of you. The two of you. I would like you both to roll performance checks. Okay. I cast. I cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast minor minor prophecy on uh, on myself here. All right. <laughs> Tis our <laughs> destiny to paint the town red. Twenty four. Holy okay. shit! I got it. I got a okay. nineteen. Oh my pl- god! I got a nineteen <laughs> plus a d four. A nineteen plus four. Wait a second. That means oh I got. Oh my god! That means I got a twenty seven. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's a, that's the highest I can roll. Holy shit. You guys, okay, so you guys go to town, painting the town with red paint, carrying around multiple red yes. buckets, and the people notice. And at first, there's some hesitation, and, and some people are a little angry. Old man Earl wakes up, goes inside, sees his tavern, it's just coated in red paint. <laughs> he grabs his bald head, and that one little hair curls up as if it's splint, as if it's split. And he's like, oh, no! Uh, but then oh, other my people. Buddy, come on, pick up a brush! Other people around the town uh, start helping out. They grab their own yes. red buckets of paint, and some people even grab white buckets of paint and other other kinds of colors. And as you guys are painting your sides and other buildings and the fucking ground red, uh, they are also coating uh, the other wooden buildings and even the stone buildings towards Town Hall and their colors of paint. And uh, by the night is finished, this town is beautiful and I colorful. like that we just literally just palette swap this town. <laughs> exactly. I, I, awesome. I, now I picture it as like, I picture it as like some like, you know, like those like Swedish village towns that are like very like red yeah, and they have like yeah. yes. all this different like cool like v- villas and stuff. Yes. That's fucking awesome. That's that's essentially what it looks like at the end of the night. Oh, that's so cool. With those performance checks, people enjoy it too. It's a fun time. It's almost like it's almost like an activity in a festival or like at a carnival. That's how <laughs> that's how uh, uh, high the energy is during that. Okay. Let's go. And that's everything that you wanted to do, Chip, during yep. your two weeks. That's okay. Me. Next up, uh, I move on to Gillian. What would you like to do in your two well, weeks? I've already accomplished a lot here. Um, Is there anything else that you would want to do? Like him him specifically? The one thing I really do want to do when he is free, (laughs) I want to train Julian in the ways of knighthood. Okay. (laughs) I want to take Julian out to Arena and I want us both to have wooden swords and I want to train this man to be a knight and, and teach him of chivalry. Can All I right. go too? <laughs> Can I just be there observing? Up to, up to Gillian. Of course. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'll say that you managed to whisk away Julian as he's instructing. Uh, and you you get a glimpse of the ship's progress. Uh, it's probably about like mid-week cool. on the first week. And it looks, you can see like the the, uh, the foundation has been laid down and it looks really cool. It's starting to come together. Uh, and you just grab wanna... him. I don't even want to role play it. I just want to roll and then see at the end of the week how much more chivalrous he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll say roll uh, persuasion if you if that's your goal. Okay, yes, definitely using minor prophecy for this one, baby. This motherfucker. <laughs> Shit! All right, I got a thirteen plus. I want him to be a knight. Max I want roll, him to be a knight so bad. 
Oh. Plus one. one. Oh, it's a 14. I got a 14. Oh. What kind of things would you might have tried to teach him during this? At first, he's a little hesitant. He's like, hey, all right, this is, uh, why'd you kidnap me? I got stuff to do. And you just swing at him. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah. And you guys, you guys have your you little. You have uh, much fight. to do, many duties to uphold now, Julian. What uh? What are some what are some pointers that you would give him? Uh, I would want to teach him. I would want to teach him footwork, uh, balance, how to like actually like block blows, um, with a sword or this comb or fucking whatever. Is it too late um, to assist with this actually? Because I would totally help out. I know a lot of this shit as well. <laughs> you would? You it would? Is, yeah, it is, like, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like fix his stance. I'd be like, come on, foot out. Yeah, I would, I, would, I would like teach him like, you know, how to, how, like, how to speak properly in, in the presence of, uh, you know, people of, of authority. How to be chivalrous to like those in need. Your shoulders That's are stiff, I come on. <laughs> um, I won't say you have to roll, Jay, because he did already roll, yeah. but I will say that you helped and that, and that, that will yeah. help. Let's go. Okay, yep. Loosen up Julian like a flounder. <laughs> <laughs> you do that, uh, and uh, Julian at first hates everything that's happening to him, and then he actually starts to get more into it as uh, oh. as you do this. Not just one day, but a few days. For uh, for the like two days in the first week, you guys are pulling him away uh, for an hour or so to do this kind of training, and then like the third and fourth day, he kind of just actually waits for it to happen, and he comes along willingly. Let's go! There you, go. Progress, you guys, uh, you guys learn uh, that Julian, while while you're with him, um, uh, his uh, his his he's actually got like natural talent for being very dexterous, uh, quick, and and kind of kind of roguelike. Uh, and oh. he, he learns, um, on the fourth day, he comes back with this comb, but instead of a comb, it's a butterfly knife, uh, but like a butterfly kind of dagger. Uh, and that's what he, uh, trains with on that day. <laughs> that's cool. Anything else that you wanted to do, Gillian? Maybe, maybe stock up for the stuff for the trip. Plenty of oranges, plenty of clementines, plenty yeah. of mandarins. We're not yeah. getting scurvy. We're not getting right. scurvy. All right. You, uh, you return to the same cellar that you once bought before, um, and uh, you actually strike up a conversation with this this fox person, uh, which is an interesting person to have met. And uh, you learn that uh, his name is Itsune. And he uh, he loves selling his tangerines and is actually kind of happy that you got rid of his, comp uh, his competition. And uh, the first day that you told her to find her new passion, she seemed like defeated as if someone have, had, had stared through her soul and uh, she was not around for a little bit, but seems to be doing better now as she runs around looking for Chip. Um, <laughs> and uh, you also would probably help out a lot of the people in the village uh, who just need like little things, little uh, absolutely, little, absolutely. little evils that they need uh, vanquished. I would um, do menial tasks with yeah, <laughs> with great enthusiasm. <laughs> One of the knights, Old Man Earl, tells you that the dust bunnies are live demons and that and to slay them you have to clean. <laughs> this is how he tricks you into basically helping clean up the tavern even more I than smite you the already dust. had to. Yep. Okay, I use well, all that... of my spell slots and smite the dust off the counter. <laughs> yeah, he has to replace a lot of his, his wooden walls. One of the walls in the tavern now is just planks that have just constantly been replaced. <laughs> That's um, my door. <laughs> the, the last thing that you learn, um, people... Uh, seem to take interest in your 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 frogtopus friend that you keep by your hip uh, let's freaking go and when you when you you know describe to people you know what what she is and what her name is uh you are given you are given a gift one morning at the uh at the front of your door as you wake up and it's just a basket of these twisted breaded pastries <laughs> pretzels yo um, i've actually i don't i don't know if i've ever given pretzel a pretzel I give pretzel a pretzel and see if she likes it. You you give one of these little bread you, you tear it into like a little crumb and you and you put I it in there. I've been the, scared for so long to do this. It's like a it's like a glass jar or, or ball, right? Like how does the uh, how does her, her I picture it as work? I picture it as almost like an enlarged like potion flask mm -hmm. where it has that big kind of orb to it and then that corked off right, top. Yeah. yeah, you drop it in there. Uh she floats up to the top and and takes a little nibble and then a <laughs> sucks in the whole crumb um <laughs> and her, her the color of her her skin kind of gets a little bit more vibrant as she seems to glow a little bit and she spins around frantically and, and excitedly uh seems to really like it yep so 
Next up. Yeah, hang on to those. Hang on to those pretzel snacks. Let's go. <laughs> Absolutely. For the for the two weeks, Jay, what would you like to do? So probably at one point in time while we were training Julian while we were on break, I probably would have talked to him for a bit about like what he planned to do with the town or like how he was going to go about his new mayor duty, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we don't have to role play that out unless you That's think fine. it would yeah. be interesting. Yeah. Um, and I would have been overseeing like mostly the shipbuilding and stuff. I've already done kind of the character interactions I wanted to do. So like I would have been hanging out with Abigail and like watching the ship get built and like being like, hey, wait, that's wrong. You guys fucking suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, do you, are you actually that aggressive? No, not at all. <laughs> like, all right, guys, all right, come on. Right. The strain has to be like this. Come on. <laughs> How is this supposed to sink? It's supposed yes. to float, Gillian. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you hang out with uh, with Julian a little bit. Um, probably more in, in the second week the ship's being built because you spent a lot of time already in the first week. Uh, and uh, he tells you that... We don't have to roleplay this. I'll, I'll just yeah. I'll say what's happening. Uh, he tells you that he, he's been thinking about it and talking it with Abigail. And um, it seems like the best course of action, as much as um, he's been encouraged and, and, and helped with the training mm. to, to run a town and be mayor, he would like it, uh, or the two of them would, would do better as, as a team mayor. So um, they want to help run the town together. Oh, that's a good Especially idea. because her family, like the bloodline who founded the island, um, have been, you know, running it as the town mayor for for since it was, you know, mm -hmm. the first building was built on the on the grounds here. And uh, she wants to keep it that way, and he agrees, but he also wants the help where he can. Yeah. Uh, but another thing that you learn um, uh, after asking and inquiring what he will do with his mayor duties, uh, you he actually takes you down into a cellar uh in between that in that street between the the church and um and his home and uh this is where you you see and learn um where the the gnomes of lowell which they called themselves before everything was fixed uh would meet and gather and it's this like um it's a wine cellar but it has a, a lot of turns and rooms and stuff and you can see mm -hmm. that there's still people that are, are that are being helped out of here because during the time uh, which he explains to you during the time of, of the curse, uh, the, the sick or the cursed people who went mad or the ones who, you know, were paralyzed or, or whatever, aggressive, were all uh, taken down here to be tended to or, or to keep to keep safe or keep an eye on, basically. Um, he just shows you uh, basically uh, the backstory of, uh, of, of what yeah. was happening on his side. Yeah. Um, and uh, explains that the note was more, more so that he could get stronger uh, more mysterious allies to help him take down the mayor, but everything's, you know, worked out in the end, yeah. so it is that what gives, it is. <laughs> that gives me a lot of faith hey. in him as a person and as, hey. a, as a mayor. Yeah, so. uh, he, despite his, his, his nature of, of being, you know, scared uh, or cowardly when you guys were with him, he seemed to, to, to take action and he seems to care about people more than he cares about himself, which is a good trait to have in someone that you guys have appointed as mayor or knight a knight just yeah i don't know just thrust this position on him so i mean yeah no that's great um yeah so shot are you trying to get knighted <laughs> no i'm not <laughs> hey, what's up what's up shardy you sharting <laughs> trying to fight all right for <laughs> Is there is there anything else that you would like to do as, as I, jay I think or that's any other the biggest one that was the big one God. for me <laughs> um <laughs> I'm chilling. I was gonna try to supply up on on oranges as well, but Gillian already dealt with that. So we could all we could always use more, more oranges. Well, I want I want the other kind. Oranges. Where where are the tangerines? I just it's, it's fine. It's the spice of life. I got you covered. <laughs> when before like we set off, I do want to have a moment with my best friend in the whole world. Go ahead, old man Earl. Where do you want, kid? I come in and I'm like all sad. Errol. What is it now? Errol, I'm I'm sorry, but we're we're leaving, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, you can't, you don't understand, Earl. You can't come. I'm sorry. My heart. What do you? What? 
You can't come, man. It's... The first thing I told you when you came onto this island was get me out. That hasn't changed. Chip, you can't just... Oh, that's right. Maybe you can come, actually. I didn't think about it. Hey, you want you want to come? I don't want to bring him. Yes! Shut up, he's my Get best friend! Get me out of here! <laughs> I'm still sick and tired of this godforsaken island! And it's one road! I want to see more roads! Mm. They're all Worked the same! A long Every time ago. road is the same! They're I'm finally nothing... free! <laughs> There's nothing different. <laughs> Alright, it's settled! My oh best my friend's coming on the sea with us! Old man Earl. He's gonna you die. Make at an sea. excellent. What do people do on boats? Um. Oh, he can be my first mate, cause I'm the captain. You are already mated for life. <laughs> Gil, That's the perfect out. way to finish it. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, he's coming with us now. That's fucking yeah, happening. Coming. Let's go. He's let's coming. go. You okay? Cutter. You want him to come? Okay, sure. Yeah, sure. All right, Earl so, joins the party, baby. He passes the tavern off to one of the other old bald men, uh, and he I sets off with out. you guys. So, love this guy. Oh love my him. God. <laughs> we That's are awesome. so gonna get him killed, man. He's gonna <laughs> fucking die. <laughs> no, he's my best friend, and that won't happen. Bro, he's just old. He also hates me. All right. So the two <laughs> weeks come to an end. The two weeks here on in Mornstead on Laughlinlot come to an end finally, and you guys are, are presented uh, one morning. They they uh, Abigail comes to your rooms and blindfolds all of you and 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 grabs your your hands, and the whole town or at least half the town, the people who have you gotten to know and hung out with during the weeks, uh, all follow Amanda, you guys and lead you. Into this. <laughs> Amanda, Amanda is is I'll just is use not my heroic sonar. Is not is not uh, with you at the moment, okay. but yeah, I just thought it would... this your, your your breakup has already happened by this point, and uh, and you guys are taken to uh, the coast of the um, through the south woods, uh, the only the only shores here that you guys first arrived on, and uh, if you if, I mean before you take off your blindfolds, or as you take off your blindfolds, and they they reveal. Uh, the ship they have worked diligently on for you guys to send you off as a thank you for freeing their home. Uh, if you want to describe what it looks like, now would be the time. Woo! Okay. Um, Wait, can so... I start? Can I start at the? Can I start at the figurehead and then you do it and then we sure. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, start okay, it. sick, yeah. sick. As What's this, the... as these, as this blindfold is pulled off, the first thing that catches your eye is the pink glimmer of the figurehead, which is this forward spear with pretzel and pretzel's tentacles wrapping around it, looking heroically towards the front of the ship. And and moving back from this figurehead is this wave pattern going up around the sides of this boat, moving up to the railing that is actually in the pattern of a wave going down the left and right of this boat, meeting at the back, like almost like a tidal wave <laughs> hanging back there. Did so, we ever d discuss what kind of like what color wood? Um, I would assume like a like a mahogany. Yeah, I was thinking color. like mahogany, almost reddish. Like that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I like that. I was thinking like rosewood, you know? Yeah. 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 Oh, rosewood's cool. Yeah, rosewood's yeah, cool. Sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 We were um, talking also about those big like triangular sails, right? As mm -hmm. well. Yeah. 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 Let's anyway, go. speaking of the sails, looking up, you see giant white sails, and imprinted on one of them, you see a Jolly Roger with a giant chip on the right side of its head and wings sprawling out from uh, both sides. And above it, a little coral crown that's also chipped off on the le on the right side. Um, and above that, same thing on the flag. And that's that's our ship. What are we what are we naming it? The Millennium Chipper. No. Um, I'm calling it the Millennium that Chipper. That one is really cool. Oh look, a bird. What's that bird? <laughs> wow, it's so majestic. Wow. What kind An of albatross. bird is that? An albat. The Listen albatross. To it. Squee! Oh my God! It, wow, beautiful. Oh, no, beautiful. the albatross is stupid. Name. Guys, we gotta call it the <laughs> Millennium Chipper. Think about the it. The Al albatross. Let's try this. Quick, everyone, get back. To the albatross. Millennium Chipper. 
Hey, <laughs> Ed, we're we're under attack. Return to the Millennium Shipper. It's it's a yeah, lot of words. In it's the middle, I could words. be struck okay, down. Okay, but it Listen. sounds a lot cooler. Hey, what does Millennium chip, chip, even chip. mean? Look at me. Listen to me. Okay. Cool. You can't reuse this name. So if you ever make your dream ship, you can't you can't call it the Millennium Chipper anymore. Because this not? is the Millen This is the Millennium Chipper. You can't. Nope. Yeah, call you can't have chipper too. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Well, maybe I'll like, call it the monumental chipper or the the the. Your names suck, the, Chip. <laughs> They're not good. Okay. <laughs> Listen, why why can't we just call it both? <laughs> I'm, it's okay. I'm, I'm I I I lied. You know, it's it's a cool name. Okay. You're so Here. easy. Here. <laughs> so uh, on the on the side as well. It like I I like the idea that we've like painted like the albatross in this really cool lettering. Can we just like carve under it like in parentheses like a <laughs> also known as occasionally the Millennium <laughs> Chipper. Chipper. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in and I'll like carve it in myself. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, uh, as you guys are, are, you go, you run up and you carve it in yourself real quick. Uh, you hear uh, uh, the sound of feet hit, hitting wood from the top uh, of the of the crow's nest on your ship, and you hear <laughs> as as a flag is 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 hoisted up, and you see Julian, and he puts his arms up above his head, and he goes, "All right, <laughs> it's done." Julian, and then you have outdone yourself, Abigail. You as well. Incredible work. Well, uh, it's beautiful. I'm I'm bigger. really glad that you like it. We're gonna be it sailing be bigger, on this thing. Actually, <laughs> wait, what? we're gonna we're gonna sail on this thing. That's crazy. <laughs> what can we possibly do to repay you? This is actually us repaying you, so nothing. So you put the gold on oh, the ship. Cool. I was just about to say that um, <laughs> yes, we 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 gathered as much as we could possibly afford to the gift. Uh, and reward you with, and it is on the ship. It should be around fifteen hundred gold. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. Is uh, that, I, 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 I know that you like said you had a lot of money. you had thousands before you, when your ship, uh, you know, exploded and well, stuff. But maybe this I will be able to help you. Exaggerated. A, Just a it's bit. a it's a good start, you know. <laughs> Are you sure you will be okay without these funds? Yeah, we'll be all right. <laughs> You know, whenever I'm, I'm assuming that eventually, you know, the navy and other ships, and he starts hopping down and, and swinging or, or sliding down the the, the <laughs> mast, cool. and and gets off the ship. I assume they'll be back eventually, and if not, then well, we can finally start keep building more ships and and get out there on our own, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, revitalize um, the town, get back in the swing of things. So we'll be all right. I am glad to hear it. If we see the Navy as well, we will send them your way. I don't think we want to see the Navy. <laughs> we can put on mustaches and see the Navy. Mm, no, no. I look down and see that I still have the mustache on. <laughs> it's been there for two weeks. <laughs> Scroll it up. Um, yeah, so, this is wonderful. I suppose then you guys are off then. Yeah, I, think I guess that's, so. Uh, I think that's it. What about your wife, Chip? Oh, I, you, uh, as as you say that, uh, you guys see breaking through the crowd. It's <laughs> these thuds. Uh, Amanda Wren steps out, uh, and behind her, Itsune, and they're both holding uh, together a total of four baskets of mixed tangerines and clementines. <gasps> and and she goes, "Oh wait, before you go, just as a parting gift for for, for a nice." A nice one night, at least. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm sorry about, about everything. I know it was. I didn't. I didn't mean to hurt you. I guess. She just grabs your face, and her lips pucker up, and she kisses you this sloppy kiss <laughs> on your forehead, and she goes. I should. I think I cry. It's all right. I'll find the right one eventually, and I'm sure you will too. <laughs> and uh, the fox, it's your name next to her, it goes, uh, kick, kick, kick. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll do great. Thank you again for these. And everyone, thank you for keeping us afloat. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, we should be thanking you. 
So, uh, good luck, best of luck on your adventures or whatever you do. And, uh, maybe we'll run into each other or we can, you know, send a letter. I don't know. Yeah, hey, whatever. I'll, I'll send letters. Yeah. She's maybe, not going to uh, do that. I'm oh, yeah, here. Do that. Julian, yeah. Julian, brush up his hair a little bit. Forgot to give you this back. No, sire. You must not touch the, the mane. I have decided not to use vanity as a coping mechanism. Oh my god. So, the comb, what a... Here, and he opens up his jacket, takes like a, a handful of five combs, and puts them in your hands, and, and clasps them together. You need this more than I do now, my friend. His, his generosity is <laughs> unmatched. He's learned so much for in such me? a small time. I will use these for very stupid things, Julian. You have my word. He leans in close. I wouldn't have it any other way. And you hear a as he bites on a potato chip. <laughs> and you see oh. he's got a bag from the other side. <laughs> oh my god. I pull one out. All right. Well, bye. <laughs> I, jump on the sh I jump on the ship. I'm like looking around at everything. Hmm. I, I guess you guys, if there's anything else you want to do or say, you hop on the ship. We, uh, hop, we on hop on the, on the ship. ship. Oh, I don't know how to sail this bitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them little splishies and splashies as we're heading off. Be a, be a hero, Julian. I'm so proud of you. Come on, Arrow, hurry up. Thank you. He's old. You have to give him time. Gillian. <laughs> I mean, sir. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Shit. I bow. I bow to him. I bow to him. He's trying. He bows. <laughs> Uh, go. Uh, and as you guys get on the ship and, and Chip turns it around and faces it away, uh, Jay, you walk up to the, the back uh, and get onto the railing. And you see oh, everybody I wasn't gonna there. Say anything. Yeah, I was, I'm just going to wave to them. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. like, good luck. And then you I actually uh, make, make a perception check. Perception check. Let's see it. I have natural 18 wisdom, but whatever. Let's see how we do this. Oh, that's bad. The seven. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me look at, let me look at your passive perception. It's 18. Oh my god. Then you don't yeah. need to roll. Okay, okay. so <laughs> you uh, I forgot you have the observant fee. As you're yeah. waving, you actually see uh from from in the front is Abigail and and Julian and you see just kind of step forward and bow his head very very low to the ground. The previous mayor, Roland Lofton. Oh. <sighs> And uh, the whole crowd, as you guys are sailing away, uh, uh, throws up hats and other accessories, and other people are waving their arms and, and just and just shouting farewells in your direction yeah. as uh, <laughs> the albatross glides across the sea I, I onto give, the next adventure. I give a giant oh, smile as I'm waving with both arms, and then finally, once we're far enough away, I turn back and I turn towards Ship and Gil. I'm like. You know, it's a shame we didn't get to kill Chip. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just like to end there's still there. there's still time. <laughs> no, the two no, of no, you dog pile on Chip on the main <laughs> deck of your new <laughs> ship. Do you throw me off the boat? Cause that's <laughs> we give yeah, you like the birthday bumps. We throw you off the boat and it freeze frames as you're. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we're gonna end this episode. Oh bye bye. Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, patron, right, patron names, names time. time. Patron, patron names. Oh man, what a great episode that was. I really enjoyed that one. I guess it's time now to say thanks to our amazing patrons. Yes, it is me, the Dark Lord, here to thank all of our patrons. Thank you to my to my humble assistant, Cat Aesthetic. Thank you for assisting the Dark Lord. Creepy Reaper. Reaper of souls. Thank you for reaping all of those souls. Cake Vape Master 69. Ruler of the fifth realm of hell. Thank you for your support on Patreon. Kirby Wafro. Thank you for uh, just the, the being the gatekeeper of, of this dark realm. Um... Old Man Skeletor, thank you for telling funny jokes and breaking the tension when people come here. You know, it's, it's really a hard time when people come here and you, you really break the ice. So thank you for that. King of Ranch, thank you for dispensing ranch to all of those trapped here. For all of those lost souls. 
Seal, thank you for also helping to dispense ranch. Thank you for giving ranch to the people of this, of this realm. Serene is actually a skeleton. Thank you for playing funny tunes upon your bones to, to please the ears of the mortals trapped in this realm. Indy Mindy 9, thank you for running the, the, the ice cream stand on the corner of, of Hell Street and Hell Avenue. That is, you, that you really do bring a, bring a shine to the, to the realm, you do. You know, you know, you know, you know, Luna, Loon, you know, you know, Loon, thank you for confusing all of those who are to come here. We appreciate that very greatly. Gillian's biggest fan, thank you for, uh, uh, being Gillian's biggest fan. You know, we don't have many of those down here in this realm, but you really do. Uh, bring a bring a, a, a an energy to the room. You you light it up. You do. Rishisnivi, thank you for bringing a reckoning to the souls who need these wretched souls. Thank you for reaping reaping the the. Uh, uh, I don't. Uh, thank you for doing what you do. It's very cool. Keep keep that shit up, yo. Corny or comet, thank you for dispensing your money across the realm. It is very appreciated. Jumpiest Venus 34 for running the bank down here. Yes, it is. We do need that. Our finances down here have not been the greatest, but you do bring a great fiscal responsibility to this level of hell. Your gal pal, Valerie V. Thank you for being my gal pal. You know, it's very hard down here in hell, but you, you do make it easier. For, for me, the Dark Lord, uh, it is, it, you know, the, the braiding hair, it, it does, you know, it makes me feel pretty. It does. Edgy Moss, thank you for being so edgy. Yes, yes, uh, we need the edginess down here. We need it to be all angsty. Yes. Demon Realm, oh, scary, who's oh, spooky. Yeah. Riker Kirotu, thank you for having such a cool name to say. I like saying that shit. Riker Kirotu. It's fun. I like saying that one. Nonzalatl. Nonzalatl. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Thank you for all of your service down here for being my for being my outreach program, for joining the, the, the Hell's outreach program. We're really raising awareness and you're doing your part. Salutation for all the work you do on the buildings. You really do make everything look special. JRWI Enjoyer, thank you for enjoying JRWI and bringing it down here with you. And Divinator, who could forget your service? Who could forget your triumph in this time? Thank you for everything you bring to this realm, just all of it, all around, for being my, my second-hand man. And Jay Newell, for being the, the last one on the list, but absolutely not the least. Your hot dog stand does have its place down here in this realm. All right, if I listen to myself in this voice any longer, I do believe I will go insane. So thank you for your support, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Bye.